Hey, I'm Trey Nelms, Three's Truck Nashville Fire. We're going to use the engine company today to show you some tips for laying out a supply line. This is a tip I picked up from a good friend of mine named John Early. He's a lieutenant up in the Leesburg, Virginia area. You're going to have to have a couple of things to be able to apply this. First, you're going to have to have a piece of rope or press it cord about eight foot long just tied in a loop. Next, you've got your hydrant wrench and of course the end of your supply line. We've got four inch hose here. What we're going to do is we're going to run this rope through uh, this supply line and the hydrant wrench. It's going to ensure number one that you don't leave the apparatus without your hydrant wrench. Number two, it's going to ensure that you have enough slack to maneuver around a hydrant, another apparatus, what have you. This rope is going to dangle off the back once it's run all through this. Your member's not going to have to jump up on the tailboard to get to the supply line. They'll just get the rope, hook it around whatever they need, and then the engine can go on to the fire once the member gets back in. This is going to ensure that you start the supply line process and they're going to the fire to do what they do. Let me show you how to get this set up. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the hydrant wrench into the supply line. I normally like to leave at least the head part out. You see here this fold is only about two and a half foot long. So we want to go to the next fold to ensure that we have enough play in our supply line. So we'll end up moving this one here and we're going to come through this fold with our presset cord. We'll come around the coupling, do a girth hitch back through it. So now we'll have this fold and the coupling, and we'll take what's left of the presset cord and run it through the head of the hydrant wrench. Now we're going to show you how this can be applied in a real time situation. The advantages to a lay like this, you see how tight it is where engine three is in the alley. Another company can't get up in here to them. That would be almost impossible. They can supply them from the street and still get adequate water without stacking a lot of apparatus in. As you can see by all the excess hose, what the whole idea of this concept is, it, it allows the operator to manipulate around whatever he needs to. If there's an apparatus that comes in here, whichever side you need to make a connection, there's plenty of excess hose for you to get where you need to be. If there would be a hydrant down here, it still allows you to go to either side to make your connection. If you go up here toward the coupling, you can also see that we've ensured that there's no way to leave your hydrant wrench behind. It's been tucked inside the hose and the rope is run back through it so it ensures that it's going to be there when you need it. Besides the alleyway like you see here, there's other places where this tip could be useful such as dead ends, cul-de-sacs, apartment complexes, or long stretches up driveways. Oh. 